Hello Bampton fans and welcome to Bampton Racket Review and to this racket test number 675. This is the Mizuno Ultius 01 Feel Bampton Racket. Right, so the stretch of this video, if you've not tuned in before, it's your first time, we're going to talk about the price and availability of this racket, then the racket specs, and we compare them to our own testing platform results, which is called the E-Zone. Uh, then we will talk about the design and then we will conclude on what we think of this racket. Following that, we will go on to the E-Zone testing if you want to stay tuned for that. Okay, so availability and price. Well, get ready for this. This racket, £209 to buy. So, wow. Way at the top end of the market. Um, way above nano flares. Way above any of the... Um, the Victors, uh, I'm trying to think which ones are expensive. Well, some of the Hyper Nanos are quite expensive. Um, some of the Aura Speeds are quite expensive. But this, topping all of them at £209. Now they do have another one called the Fortius, which we have not tested. I think that's even more expensive. And we didn't bother testing it because we just didn't think there'll be enough market appeal for it. Okay, so availability is terrible um, in Europe. Uh, outside of Asia, actually, availability is pretty bad. If you click the link above, it will take you to our racket sales site, which is www.badminton-racket-review.com. We are selling this racket there. We will have this racket on back order. We're not going to be holding any stock, but we can most likely get hold of it. If you place an order there, uh, we will ship the racket directly from Mizuno in Asia to wherever you are in the world, it's not a problem. Um, availability generally is an issue. The limited edition, for example, being a nightmare to get hold of. So, we're, but we're trying our best. We're trying our best to make sure Mizuno is available to the worldwide audience. So, um, that's availability and price. Let's talk about the racket specs. Right, the weight of this racket is. 3U, it's a 3U weight racket and it has a G5 grip. The balance of this racket is, it says here, is just past, well, headlight, so it's medium, a medium mid, mid balance. Yeah, mid balance. So evenly balanced is what I think they're trying to say there. Evenly, or just past evenly balanced perhaps looking at the little diagram on the side here, which is very, very clear. Um, the flexibility um, is flexible to medium. So flexible to medium, so a little bit more friendly than the CX edition, the JPX. Um, maximum string tension on this racket, 23 to 27 pounds. Maximum string tension, 23 to 7, 27 pounds. What have we got? Anything on the how it's made? What it's made of? Ultius oh, so or no, no, no information on that. I'm afraid. Made in Japan, made in China and Japan. It says in both. Maybe it was separate bits put together. I'm not sure. So, how does that compare to the E Zone testing? Well, the weight of the racket, 3U. We weighed in the racket with the grip supplied by Mizuno Yonix BG65 string. It weighed in at 94.3 grams. The balance point of this racket was just slightly head heavy, very slightly towards the head, not massively, just leaning in this direction, which is almost exactly what these diagrams suggest. It's just past even, which is, you know, just m minor amount towards the head. Uh, shaft stiffness, we agree with um, Mizuno, it's medium stiff. So that's all good. Our readings, apart from the weight, 3U is 94.3, is quite heavy. Everything else is pretty much in line with what they're saying. Um, okay, so let's talk about the design of this racket. Well, £209 is a lot of money to spend on a racket and I'm telling you this racket is finished immaculately it is beautiful absolutely the detailing the sort of gold leaf sort of detailing inside 
gold paint work, every aspect of the, the racket is absolutely first rate. There's no Yonix, Victor or Leaning racket out there made better than this. It is absolutely beautiful. Take a look at the close-up pictures and you'll be able to see for yourself. Okay, so what do we think of this racket? Um, well, Mizuno say this racket is made for uh, people who want some speed in the racket and for people who like control. That's a fair point. Now, for our, from our perspective, <coughs> uh, it scored it scored okay in the E zone testing. Um, not bad, not, not terribly, but not as uh, convincingly as some of our other rackets in this session. Um, I think the easiest way to describe it is when you're using this racket, it, doesn't feel, it does feel lighter than a 94 gram racket, that's the first thing. The weight is not light or heavy, it's just medium, it feels medium in weight. Um, the speed and the stiffness is also about the same, it, it, it does feel medium flex, um, and it, it's speed in the air. I wouldn't say it's super quick. It's just 94 grams. I mean, how quick can it possibly get? Uh, it feels okay. Its primary strengths, um, it has very decent levels of repulsion. So if you are a deceptive player, you do get nice repulsion off the racket. Um, defense, um, overhead shots and drive is all quite nice it's not a big deal with this you know you do for 94 grams they obviously what they've done is they've taken the balance point lower and they've added the weight so it feels like it's not that heavy to use and it does feel quicker and more nimble than the CX edition uh, I do still think that the 8.1 or the limited edition maybe has the edge on it but it's quite nice it's a nice even balanced racket I can see somebody with really nice technique who is well trained, got their grip in the right place, got their technique correct, would be able to use this racket to really good effect. It's certainly at £209 better than the top of the range Astrox rackets to use. It's friendlier to use. There is still some, you know, you do need to, you would need to have some training to be able to really fully utilise it, but it's not bad. It offers a reasonable amount of smash power. It off offers reasonable defence power, you know, defence capabilities. It's all round okay, and that's what the E Zone test result has shown. It's an okay racket. The problem is, it's two hundred nine pounds, and what you're getting is okay. Do you want an okay racket for two hundred nine pounds? I'm not so sure. Um, let's put it this way: when I find it difficult, because you know price is a factor. Uh, we don't score against price when we're on the E zone, but it hasn't scored as highly as some of the other rackets in the test session. Uh, the Abroz rackets have scored highly again. The J Nice by the Black Panther by J Nice has scored well. Um, a couple of the Yonex rackets scored well, so. If we just make this a little bit easier, let's half the price and bring it down to £105. Well, that takes it directly into the Mizuno JPX range. And I personally think the 8.1 is a better racket. Possibly the limited edition is better racket than this. The Kawasaki King 9, better racket than this. Uh, the j Nice Black Panther, in every respect, is better than this. Um, the Honor S6 not as quick in, in the air by Kawasaki, but 
offers really good repulsion and big smash power if you can get it moving in the air not as quick in the air it doesn't feel as quick in the air as this and not quite as nimble um, the Nano Flare 270 well we all know that we abandoned the racket review do like that racket but some of you have expressed concerns over its build quality so we're kind of hesitant on recommending that um, but then there's the Astrox 39 and so on and so forth you know the rest Abroz range Hammerhead Venom Nano 9900 Abroz Force Light all completely different weight range weight class but still they can perform in every area as good if not better than this so where does that leave us Apex Asgardia, Nanofusion Speed XR, all nice rackets. You know, it just makes you think, well, when you spend money with Mizuno, you are getting really good research behind the racket. They do put a lot of time and effort into the design. They do put a lot of time and effort into making the racket, and they obviously really care about the production quality. It's so apparent, just looking at this racket, the in you know the internal aspects of the paintwork and how it feels the solidity when you're on the court is solid to play with but so for, for die hard Mizuno fans this is what I'd say for die hard Mizuno fans I'd say give it a go at, even at 209 if you're a Mizuno crazy person give it a go it's actually okay for 200 I mean it's 209 pounds it's a lot of money but if you're a hardcore Mizuno fan, then try it. I, you know, it's better than the CX edition. I would, however, suggest trying the JPX 8.1 or the limited edition if you can get hold of them. They're really hard to get hold of. Um, if you're not fussed about which brand you go with, you just want a decent quality racket, then I've mentioned all the ones I would consider already earlier on in the video. Um, well, I, I, I think that's all I have to say about it, really. It's a lot of money. It's a very nice racket. I do feel slightly conflicted because it doesn't perform amazingly, but it is a really amazing racket in terms of the tech and in terms of the time and engineering that's gone into it. It's phenomenal. But bottom line is when you're on a game and you're playing your shots, do you really care? You just want your rally to go the way you want it to go and you want the control and smash and power and defense as you know you want it to be and whether your racket's 20 pounds or 200 pounds it's got to work for you so um, I would certainly say it's better than the Astrox 99 than the Adidas Vox P8 uh, not as good as the Caliber 900i by uh, Li Ning and yeah that should give you a really good idea where it places in the marketplace I hope you found that helpful now we're going to go on to the ESO now the ESO smash test and the ESO maneuver test for those of you uh, who are familiar with it you can sign off if you want to a um, couple of changes that have taken place we do not do the drop uh, sorry the control test where we're dropping the shuttle into buckets and scoring we now score the control test from the on-court testing when we're dropping cross court we're dropping in from the back backhand forehand side shots and we score based on our experience on doing that rather than the bucket test which has uh, happened because of the feedback we've received from eZone users um, also the eZone is due an upgrade the website is due an upgrade now bamtrackingreview.co.uk will be getting an upgrade very very shortly the eZone will also get upgraded with a search function with the date function um, the eZone testing will, uh, will be uh, there'll be five new areas of tested test. Uh, there'll be five new areas of testing added to the E Zone, giving you an even further and deeper uh, understanding of each and every racket. So hopefully, you'll enjoy that. And there is the possibility that later on this year, the E Zone will become a free platform to access. We can't confirm that as yet, but it's a possibility. So, um, for all of those of you who know about these, I know what BAM Racket Review is, you can sign off. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for all the love, the support, the sharing, the caring, the feedback. And for those of you who are bothering to leave reviews, even if they're short, of the rackets you're using so other people can see what your experience is like, thank you so much. It's so helpful. We know that people appreciate it. E-Zone users, leave reviews on the E-Zone so other people can see what you think of rackets. Okay, I'm going to talk about the E-Zone now. If you know all about this already, you can sign off. If you want to see the smash and maneuver test of the Altius 01 field, stay tuned. 
So the E-Zone is a platform created by Badminton Racket Review. You can find out more about it if you go to www.badmintonracketreview.co.uk. Um, it is a platform where you can compare rackets from 19 world-class manufacturers and once you decipher which rackets you do or do not want you can then drill down into each racket and see lots more information on the racket than you'll have ever seen before key information on the e-zone is we use we restring every racket using bg65 at 25 pounds we use the same shuttles the jonix as30s and we have the same player hitting all of our shots there's two shots you're about to see now the smash and maneuver shot the primary parameters there are we take six shots if we're happy with the shots that have been taken we then take the top two results and we create an average which gives us a smash score in kilometers per hour and it gives us sorry a smash speed in kilometers per hour and a smash score for the e zone and for the maneuver shot we get the two highest speed movements uh, and we average those out giving us a maneuver score and a maneuver speed in kilometers per hour okay after you see these videos we'll be signing out so thank you very much for tuning in today do keep liking do keep sharing do keep leaving reviews as soon as the maneuver video is done we'll be signing out of this video and we'll see you on the next one here's a smash shot